Our next speaker would be Dr. Mohammed Abdul Razak Al Siddiqui. He is the Technical and Vocational Education Advisor at the Ministry of Education. Dr. Mohammed's topic will be Career and Personal Development in Technical and Vocational Education (TVE). We welcome Dr. Mohammed. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Mohammed Al Siddiqui, and today, inshallah, our presentation will be on personal. Uh, and career development in technical and vocational uh, education. Uh, in today's presentation, we will have an overview for the career uh, guidance and uh, academic guidance. Uh, also, we'll, have, uh, we'll talk about some of the objectives for career and guidance, uh, as well as we'll talk about the career guidance in technical and vocational uh, education, uh, which has been uh, four main areas. Uh, academic guidance, career guidance, and uh, career uh, guidance system, uh, as well as uh, the uh, career and personal development uh, subjects. So the career guidance and counseling, they are two processes which are connected uh, together uh, in the educational uh, process to improve uh, the students, uh, let's say, uh, skills, knowledge, and uh, attitude, which is related to the uh, cognitive, uh, affective, and psychomotor uh, skills. So how those skills are integrated within, uh, how can we develop, the, how th those skills could be integrated within the curriculum, or how can we develop this kind of skills uh, within the students? So the guidance and counseling, we are motivating uh, the students, uh, we give them the potentials, we motivate the students, we understand uh, the kind of skills, what are the abilities, and what are um, uh, their uh, knowledge, and how can we improve this knowledge uh, in order so they can uh, choose their uh, further uh, or higher education uh, studies, or they can join the labor market. Uh, in general, we have uh, like uh, four different or different uh, objectives. Uh, the first object is for guidance and counseling, which is like to improve the educational uh, process, uh, to uh, improve the educational process, as I mentioned, to increase uh, the skills for the, attitude, uh, the students' skills, uh, students' attitude, or students' knowledge. Also, uh, this will help the students to choose uh, the specialization, which is appropriate. Yani in uh, technical and vocational education, for example, we have uh, many uh, different uh, specializations, more than 15 specializations, and I will talk about the process of selecting some of those, uh, how the students can select the right uh, specialization in year two or year three. Also, this is will uh, also uh, help the students, uh, the talented uh, students, so they can start their, their own business. They will study some, uh, they will have some information or study some occupational uh, standards related to how can they formulate their own small businesses. And also, the objectives of the uh, guidance and counseling, uh, as I mentioned, also to improve the students' disciplines and to improve the different uh, skills related to the uh, to students. So, uh, career guidance and technical and vocational education, as you can see, it is consists of four main areas. The first area, we will talk about the academic guidance, and I believe uh, it has been mentioned by my, uh, my colleagues uh, in the previous presentations. We have something called some programs related to the career guidance, and also there is another uh, program which is related to the career guidance system, which is related to the students in intermediate schools. And we have also in technical and vocational education, uh, the CPD, the career and personal development subjects. Uh, those four uh, areas, uh, uh, it has four main elements uh, at the beginning. Uh, at, the, at the beginning of each academic year, there is a unified operational plan to run all these activities which is related to uh, career and personal development and TVE. So those plans have been designed and implemented 
uh, during with different academic programs that is related to the students mainly. Uh, those programs are monitored and uh, could be modified within the uh, implementation, as well as there are a number of professional programs for career uh, counselors and technical and vocational schools. So when we go back uh, to the four main elements, we'll talk about the academic guidance. The academic guidance, it has been implemented pre, mid, and post. The pre, uh, it is at the beginning of each academic year for the new or uh, the existing students within technical and vocational education. So they will know about the educational system and technical uh, schools. They know exactly about the specializations. And for example, for the new students, they should know at the beginning, uh, year one, it is about a rotation for uh, different mechanical and uh, electrical uh, sections. Uh, so they have like a rotation among those different sections. Uh, in year two, they will select one of those uh, specializations based on their preferences and based on their academic uh, grades. So during the mid, the students are, uh, they are giving some uh, advice or they are monitoring their uh, academic progress, especially in the, uh, for the occupational uh, standard for the specialized subjects. Yeah, and the specialized subjects is based on uh, project-based learning. So from the project-based learning, the students, they have to complete number of occupational standards on continuous learning in order to achieve uh, or to, to, to pass or to, to, be, uh, to achieve this kind or those uh, accolades. So that means they will receive some academic guidance during that. By the end, they, have, they receive the, the post, uh, they have the post-academic guidance, so this is, will help the students to select their pathways after they complete uh, the third year. The career guidance and technical and vocational education, mainly we have the career guidance programs in schools. There are different uh, programs which has been within the operational plan for the career guidance offices in the schools. They have different programs, say they have some seminars, they have some workshops, they have some visits. But the main part of our career guidance is Taqween, Barnaud Tadrib al Maidani Taqween, the work placement program. This work placement program it is a four years of, sorry, four, four weeks or to five weeks uh, training program. The students will join one of the uh, public sector or one of the private companies uh, in uh, their area and their specializations. There are a number of uh, logbooks a logbook for the students, another logbook for the uh, follow-up teachers and for the supervisor within the industry. Uh, and the students, could, uh, they have to complete this program in order to get the secondary education certificate in technical and vocational uh, education. Another program for the career guidance, uh, there is Barnamaj Afaq. Uh, Afaq is based on success stories. For previous students, any uh, successful stories, uh, they will have some uh, workshops, some seminars, uh, it could be like some of the works could be online, the other one will be like face to face. And by the way, today we will start, uh, we have uh, started uh, AFAQ for our uh, students. So the idea of uh, AFAQ is just to know, to have, uh, for the students, they will have an idea about how can they start, for example, their own business, how can they join uh, any, uh, uh, how can they apply for, uh, for joining any companies of the private uh, sectors? And there are some, uh, some questionnaires to be filled by the students. Also, there are some, um, some uh, short reports to be done by the students to, to take the output from uh, AFAQ. Uh, the career uh, guidance system, this is the third part of our uh, process and uh, career guidance services and uh, technical and vocational uh, education. It is mainly based for uh, students in intermediate schools. There are a number of uh, uh, students that uh, the students who would like to join the technical and vocational uh, education. They will have like number of uh, programs, number also of seminars. There is like one unified uh, plan for them, uh, for the teachers, for the uh, vocational counselors and uh, intermediate schools in order to prepare the students uh, to join the technical and vocational uh, education. Uh, 
One of the main parts is the career and personal development uh, subjects. It's based on uh, different occupational standards uh, in order to improve uh, the students' abilities, to improve the students' work ethics, to improve the students' uh, uh, psychomotor skills or uh, also the uh, cognitive uh, skills. So this is a number of occupational standards, so the students also will know they have the idea on how to apply for different, how can they apply for different jobs online, how can they do their own CVs, how can they, uh, uh, and how can they choose uh, the right uh, pathway so they can choose either by uh, the higher, higher or further uh, education or they can uh, join the labor uh, market. So there, there is like one technical committee. This technical committee is responsible for setting all the occupational uh, standards for the career and personal development subjects. And those ch subjects are taught for uh, technical and vocational education students during year uh, two and year uh, three. Uh, finally, just here, just some uh, photos for the different, uh, from uh, the MOE Instagram, uh, for uh, different activities that has been uh, conducted for uh, technical and vocational uh, education uh, students, uh, such as uh, some visits for the industries, uh, for AFAQ program, for Taqween, and for any other uh, programs and activities that is uh, carried out uh, in the schools. شكراً